We're back at the table with this week's line panelists. Up next, our topic, to the proposal to build an interim nuclear waste repository in southern New Mexico. Holtec International wants to build the facility, and Governor Martinez sent a letter to the administration last month in support of it. But the proposal faces a lot of opposition here in New Mexico, including from U.S. Senators Martin Heinrich and Tom Udall. And Eric, safety and management of the waste isolation plant, uh, pilot plant looms large over this, certainly. But there's another question here amongst many. How do you get the stuff there? Who actually handles this? Do you know what I mean? We've had protests here in Albuquerque when WIP first opened. There's only a couple of ways to get down to that part of the state. And folks that live along those routes are not too happy about this. What does this put in New Mexico? In well, I, th I think it, it speaks to, again, the lack of a, strat a real strategy for economic development. When, yeah. when our only strategy is we're going to take this very highly toxic um, questionable unsafe sort of industry mm -hmm. and perpetuate it as opposed mm -hmm. to say wait a minute can't we come up with something better for, for jobs in the state than really taking the nation's you know and it's not even for security purposes right. this is this is nuclear energy waste most of which is being stored safely where it is until we find a long-term solution which is what Senator Udall and Heinrich said you know, look you know as an interim solution this is this doesn't make any sense mm -hmm. but the bigger question is where are the big ideas for why? Why is this the only big idea? Why is it an economic development issue? Right. Um, as opposed to, you know, a hundred other things we could be doing as opposed to being, you know, nuclear waste? Sure. Come to New Mexico, sure. where, yeah. where you want to be. I, I, I'm afraid we're going to start running tourism or, or economic development ads to bring your nuclear waste here. Right, right, right. Yeah, that, that idea that we are the repository, a lot of folks do have heartburn with this. It's I, Yeah, it know. is a, I mean, I think it is a really worrisome uh -huh. um, situation. I think as well, uh, there are, there is an interesting element to this, which is that from what from what I've seen, the, the federal government is saying we actually don't have the, the ability to do this work ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's going out to private companies. And there's a private company that's looking to set up a similar facility in Texas. Mm -hmm. And and my concern with this is that this may be an end run about, around regulations that really matter mm. um, and that would be important to us as New Mexicans to have those in place. Mm -hmm. The other thing, though, is no, we don't want to be, yes, we love our, our, our history. Mm -hmm. um, we take the history of White Sands very ser seriously, the Manhattan Project, et cetera. Mm -hmm. This is not that. Mm -hmm. This is something very different mm -hmm. and not not as as lovely, not as historic, and right. something I don't think we want to be known Phil for. Phil Marquez, that word interim is interesting here. It really jumps out. It's not like baseball. You give an interim general manager or an interim, you know what I mean? Everyone knows. Sometimes interim means forever. Like once you start it and you just put it in the ground, it probably is. no one's incentivized to move it at that point, it seems to me, right? I just, you don't just pick up nuclear waste to move it right. tomorrow. They're, they're saying 100 years. Yeah, right. Nuclear, I, right. Interim is 100 years. I'm, I, mm -hmm. I sort of look at this as a, on a favorable side, okay. not a negative side. There's a lot of negatives you can look at. I just don't want to get caught up in the silver mineral thing. You know, all of a sudden we got some gray wolf out there that we didn't know about. Thought, we did, thought it was extinct, now we found it. So we can't do that. So we start getting caught up in all this minutia. Um, mm. I don't even want it to be a political issue. And I sometimes think I'm concerned that it is. When you got Eddie and Lee County putting together and saying, we need the economic development. Look, New Mexico has not tons of economy going. I mean, positive gotcha. jobs. Gotcha. And in those particular areas, it's important. You got an area that's dry. You got an area that has no flyover. You've got possibilities to put something that will put people to work. Uh, if you were from those areas and your unemployment rate's high and you have people looking for work, you're going to be looking seriously at something. Mm -hmm. Now, Texas will take it, and I guarantee you Texas will put it there quickly. Mm -hmm. Nevada's looking at it as well. Mm -hmm. Why not New Mexico? Mm -hmm. I think that's the question we have to that's ask. That's fair enough. Mary, what do you think of that? I'm, I've got to say I'm with Phil on this mm -hmm. one. Um, the localities want it. You know, neither of our senators are from southeastern New Mexico. Mm -hmm. They probably don't get a lot of votes in southeastern New Mexico. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, the folks who are willing to take this on uh, uh, should be listened to, and it, it uh, feels right. It's a reality. Extractive industries, mm -hmm. nuclear. This this is something we do. This is this drives jobs. Mm -hmm. This is this is New Mexico, and I don't know why. Uh, we would shy away against it. I think we would have all loved it if Tesla came here, and there are many reasons they didn't. And I, I do agree, though, uh, with Eric's comment about economic development. For years, we have do not done what it takes to attract business here. Our regulatory climate mm -hmm. is terrible. 
uh, we do not do anything what just happened with Lyft. Um, you know, mm -hmm. we do nothing to support right. new or innovative businesses. So we, we have to fall back on some of these industries just to keep things going. Mm -hmm. How, what do you think of that, Eric? I, not to hopscotch you on the table, what do you think of that, what do you think of that? But this, that's an interesting argument though too. I hear your point, and I, it's easy for us to sit up here and say, well, it's only 150 jobs, it's this or that, the other thing. But they own the land, they've made an agreement between those counties, the city managers want it. It's not as if it's their, this whole tech is trying to shove something down their throats. They're being pulled in. Does that make a difference in your mind? Well, I think I, I think it's a choice, right? Yeah. I mean, it, you can make the same argument about the low-wage jobs. When I was working for economic development, these sure. communities were were so um, starved for jobs that they would take anything. We took call centers that were paid seven fifty an hour. So the argument that because our economy is so bad, we should take anything, mm -hmm. I think that that's a, not a sustainable argument, and actually perpetuates. Mm -hmm. um, now, whether or not you agree with LES, that's a very different. Facility. There is a lot of economic development going down there. Whether you agree that that, that we should have uranium enrichment and, and growing the nuclear uh, energy industry or not, sure. that at least that's very different than us saying the best we can do as a state mm -hmm. is to say we're gonna you, we will you, we're gonna take those bottom feeder. This really is a bottom feeder industry. This is basically saying this is toxic, uh, a huge public safety issue. Mm -hmm. Uh, in fact, Nevada is not interested. That's the whole reason why they're doing it. That that right. was a non-starter for Democrats and Republicans in in Nevada. Yeah. Um, the whole reason why it's not Yucca Mountain was a non-starter. So, we are the only place. Right. And and I I, I I don't like to compare ourselves to Texas because Texas has worse child child uh, well-being than we do on every other measure other than mm -hmm. other than that they'll take any jobs, any industry, mm -hmm. anything you can do, no regulations. If that's really what we want to be as a state. I, I, I think I'm just, I just have a different what, view. What, in your mind, we just got a few seconds left here, under 30, more creative ways to do economic development, not saying, you know, A, B, C, D, but is there any categories that come to mind for you? Well, that, those two counties have some of the, the highest uh, number of years of sun a year, of, of year. So what about massive investments in solar energy okay. there? And talking to Udall and, and, and sure. Heinrich about, well, how, how are you going to, if you want us to not do this, right. how are we going to get some more solar facilities, some concentrated solar facilities? Um, uh, there's, there's the. We already made a massive investment in the spaceport, which I think um, may or may not pay off. So it's not like we're not trying things. There are other ideas. Mm -hmm. um, taking nuclear waste, I think, is a terrible idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Up next, some local teachers tell us what they think about teacher evaluations here in New Mexico.